Hi everyone, Jennifer here, back with another edition of TV Talk. It's Monday, and that means it's Gargoyles Day. And this week's episode was Heritage. Continuing their quest to return to Manhattan, Goliath, Elisa, Angela, and Bronx find themselves on a small island that is populated by a tribe of Native American people. However, the tribe is dying, and unless the friends can help convince the head of the tribe to battle the spirit Raven, the island may never regain the beauty it once had. Okay, things I liked about this episode. There were actually a lot of things I liked about this episode episode. Um, we are, within this episode, introduced to another two of Oberon's children. Um, up to this point, we have only been introduced to Puck and the Weird Sisters. But we are introduced to another two um, in this episode, and they are Grandmother and Raven. Um, and they mention exactly where the island is. Um, I just, I can't remember. Um, and they also mention the name of the tribe. I can't remember the name of the tribe either. And the basis of what is going on here revolves around tradition. Um, within this episode, it is tradition for the leader of this tribe to ascend the mountain, which happens to be a volcano, and do battle with Raven in traditional combat. Then and only then will Grandmother be able to restore health to the land. And that's not a spoiler because it's kind of mentioned early on in the episode. But the problem is that... Nick, who is the leader of the tribe, doesn't believe in the old ways. And it's going to take Lisa and the gargoyles to convince him of that. And then, of course, Raven will take any advantage she can to gain the upper hand and get what he wants. I mean, I'm assuming in this culture, because this is more than likely based off an actual Native American culture in that area, that Raven is some sort of trickster god. Um, the trickster god in many Native American cultures is usually a raven or a coyote. Um, so um, I'm assuming that that is what he is, especially when you pair that with what he does throughout the episode. Um, now this is the second place Avalon has sent them. Um, and again, like I said, it um, as I said in the last video, um, Avalon is sending them places that they have to be. Um, be it something that they have to discover about themselves, something they have to discover about um, the gargoyle culture as a whole, something that has to do with Oberon's children, like in this episode, something that has to do with someone Goliath and Elisa have encountered in the past, or some combination of that, because sometimes two overlap each other. Um, and this one, it's solely Children of Avalon. They are dealing directly with them. And it's very interesting, because aside from the weird sisters, who are always together, we really don't see more than one child of Avalon in an episode at a time. Here we're seeing two. Um, so this one is very unique in that aspect. Now, I did say, you know, aside from the Weird Sisters, yes, um, the Weird Sisters, we always see the Weird Sisters together. Um, so they, they are a group, they are a unit, we always see them together. Um, we never see one without the other two. Um, in this case, you can, Raven and Grandmother can be in one place without the other, even though they're both part of the same Native American culture. So, um, to have them together, but 
consider what's going on in the episode. They both have to be in there. Um, we also see other creatures of Native American legend. We see um, what is known as a thunderbird, um, which is very prevalent in Native American culture. And we see a sea serpent as well, um, which we actually see the sea serpent right off the bat. And it's, um, so this episode really starts off with a bang right out of the um, previously clips. And um, once you get right into what the episode's about, it, it really starts off um, with, you know, the friends being attacked by a sea serpent. So it's, it get it gets, it starts off and it stays strong. So it's actually very, it's actually a really good episode. Okay, things I didn't like about this episode. There wasn't much I didn't like about this episode. Um, I love the fact that they um, they delved into another culture, um, a Native American culture. Um, whenever episode, whenever TV shows do that and they delve into another culture, another religion, or whatnot, I I really like that. Uh, especially when the show is geared towards kids, because mainly because if kids learn about other cultures and whatnot, they can start forming friendships with people from that culture, um, you know, which is my hope. Um, so, um, again, nothing I really didn't like about this episode, um, but a lot I loved about it. Okay, feel free to leave your comments and questions in the comment section. I do love to read those. Um, Feel free to follow me on Wattpad, Tumblr, Instagram, and Twitter. I will, I do have my name for those four sites right there on the screen, as well as the pictures I use for the icons. Please note that all pictures seen within this video do belong to their respected artists. I, I, I own nothing, and the links for the four sites I mentioned will be in the description section if that makes it any easier for you guys. Okay, quick reminder on my comment rules. Okay, feel free to check out my other gargoyle videos. My other TV talk videos. and my other videos.
Okay, before I sign off, a few things I'd like to touch on. First off, YouTube subscribers. Any of my videos that cannot be found on YouTube are on my Facebook page. The link will be in the description section. Facebook friends. Basically the same deal. Any of my videos that cannot be found on Facebook are on my YouTube channel. The link will be in the description section. And for anyone who's interested, you can join my Facebook group, Fanfic Corner. The link for that will be in the description section as well. Okay, DreamWorks Dragons will be coming to an end relatively soon. And that means that you guys will have the opportunity, that means there will be an opening for a new TV Talk series for Sunday, which means you guys will have the opportunity to tell me what show you would like me to do a review video on, or a set of review videos on. Your choices are Horseland, Outlaw Star, Dot Hex Sign, and Inuyasha. Voting is very simple. All you have to do is write and or love a po and and or like or love a positive comment on one of the four shows listed and whichever one gets the most votes is the one I'll do a video on. Please keep in mind that negative comments and dislikes do not count as votes and if Inuyasha is selected I will do the um, this um, follow-up series um, at least the first season of it um, once I'm done with Inuyasha. Uh, I might do the second one. It all depends on when it comes out and how long it takes me to get through Inuyasha. Voting will be until August, or March 30th, excuse me. Um, but if I have to push the date back, I will let you know. You may vote as many times as you wish. However, please keep in mind that in the event of a tie or no votes, I do have the final say. So far, the votes stand at one vote for Horseland and one and two votes for Inuyasha. But you do have a little over a month left, so be sure to get your votes in and make your voices known. Okay, please like and share if you're watching on Facebook or like and subscribe if you haven't already if you're watching on YouTube. And if you're watching on YouTube, feel free to click on the video icon on your screen to view my last video on gar TV Talk video on gargoyles. Or you can click on the other video icon on your screen to view my last TV Talk video. As always, thank you for watching and have a very nice day.